All right, what are we harvesting today? Garlic. Garlic. Okay, so right behind us, we have three different kinds of garlic in here. Once your garlic is kind of past halfway brown, um, we usually say two thirds to three quarters, it's time to dig. Um, so this chunk of garlic needs to get harvested. This one's gonna stay, um, stay for a while. This is elephant garlic. And I forget there's a, a smaller kind just past the elephant garlic that's still not quite ready. But I've got my helper. Mm -hmm. Everybody still in their jammies? Has anybody brushed their teeth here yet? No, okay. So gardening comes before getting out of jammies and brushing teeth. Yeah. So here we go. It's the best thing in the world. What was that? It's the best thing in the world. It's the best thing in the world. gallon buckets of compost a mm -hmm. um, whole bunch of buckwheat seed okay. <laughs> um, so we're just gonna let that grow until we're ready well one until it looks like it's gonna start to go to seed if it's gonna start like if it's looking like it's gonna start producing seed I'll cut it off before it does because I don't want it to reseed um, so that's gonna go for, for either until before it produces seed or before, right before we're ready to plant garlic and I'll just cut that off and let the, the stalk um, become the mulch for this garden bed. And we'll plant our garlic here again yeah. in the fall. I have a bucket of Japanese beetles. You wanna go feed the chickens? Okay. When it's Japanese beetle season, there's almost always a yogurt container of water and beetles in the garden. Go! It does not take them long, does it, Goose? They want more. Um, I, I don't think we... Give them berries. <laughs> Um, so it's funny as the season progresses during Japanese beetle season, if they see us carrying, whoops, if they see us carrying a cup around, um, they'll literally just be at the edge of the coop kind of following us until we come over and feed them. So they're pretty well trained. They like Japanese beetle season. All right. So I have Mal, my other assistant with me. And your other assistant, Bob. Okay. She, that, that garlic is, she's named Bob. Yep. Um, so what we usually do, we've, we're under a covered patio. Um, we string the garlic up with some twine, some rope, some clothesline, whatever we have around. Um, and we hang it kind of higher up um, towards the roof line so it's out of the weather and we let it dry. So I'm just gonna start um, by taking a loop and making a loop at the end here to be able to hang it up on um, a nail along the wall here. And then my assistant can come on over with Bob, the garlic. Well, you can Bob be here. The garlic. Can you be on this side? Yes, I can. Thank you. Okay. And so then what I do is I make a loop and then I push, take the extra string and push a loop through like that. Um, and then make it big enough so that your lovely assistant can
can put the garlic through. Mr. Bob. And you pull. And then, and then you, you pull. Then you go to the next fairly close because it's going to slide. And so you suffocate you, Mr. Bob. <laughs> you make a loop and you push a loop through that loop. I might try to do that from another angle. And then you grab another piece of garlic. This one's Jimmy. That's Jimmy. And you tighten that down. And it makes this nice string of garlic that when you hang it, it just hangs like this. And it works rather lovely. Okay, so let me... Okay, so let me try to show it like this. So I'm doing a loop. Doing a loop. See how it crosses there? And then I'm going to take this and push a loop through here. And, and we, the garlic. And then we put Rebecca. <laughs> this is Rebecca. That's Rebecca. Okay. And again, that makes a nice string of garlic. I try to get them a little closer than this, but when I'm holding the camera with my knees and trying to demonstrate, I don't do quite as good of a job. And then we just keep going. this video even though there's a lot of rain noise in the background the rain is fantastic so you tell us harvest our garlic um, I showed how I tied it um, and we strung it up along here um, there's other ways to lay it out to dry it's just I love hanging it like this that's actually the way we've been hanging our garlic you know, for the past I think 11 years it's just tradition. Um, this is going to be here for two, three, maybe four weeks uh, to fully dry. All the green will be gone. Um, I'll come through and I'll snip off the tops, which are now pointing down, um, and then just pull the bulbs out. And then those strings, I can just pull and those knots will pop out. Um, we'll compost the tops, kind of just clean some of the dirt and um, things off the outside and we'll store them in a crate. Um, now anything that looks damaged um, or like there's, there's some of the cloves that aren't in good shape, we will um, either use those, um, we'll dehydrate them to make garlic powder, um, or I am going to try some fermenting this year um, with the garlic. That will be the first time I've ever fermented garlic, um, but I think that will work nicely. Uh, typically, we do have a short period of time um, when we don't have garlic. Uh, the garlic will start to sprout and go soft once we hit spring. Um, and so there, there's like a month or two um, in between um, the garlic getting to the point that we have, the garlic we have stored getting to the point where we can't use it because it's sprouted and too mushy um, and when garlic skates come in. Um, so I'm actually hoping that the fermented garlic spans that gap and we don't actually have to purchase 
any grocery store garlic because that would be pretty cool. Um, so I think this looks beautiful. Uh, maybe not everybody does, but to me, I don't need to buy decorations. This looks fantastic. Thank you for joining us today. We'll see you on the next one.